Hello Accessible Gamers, welcome into the Dagger Systems channel, where we usually talk about accessibility and gaming. Today we have a special video for you reviewing the Xbox Series X. In this video we talk about the controller, the setup and exterior of the console itself, as well as the user interface. And if you find this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button and comment below on why you thought this video was helpful in helping you make a decision on why you purchased the Xbox Series X. And consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos on accessibility and gaming. Let's jump right into this review. Xbox's strength has always been its hardware. So when we finally got our hands on an Xbox Series X, we couldn't wait to see what strides the green team has made towards console accessibility. To our surprise, the most impactful design features in the system are implemented in such a way that they're invisible if you don't need them and obvious when you do. In other words, their newest generation of hardware, Xbox has piled on a number of small but highly impactful changes that show in an area of hardware accessibility, Xbox is still the clear leader. Let's start with an area where they didn't innovate simply because they didn't need to, the Xbox controller. During my dozens of hours testing the Series X, I couldn't see a substantial difference between my Xbox One controller, my third party pro controller, and the controller that comes with the Series X. This is a good thing and a bad thing. Good because of the previous generation of Xbox controllers was accessible for you, you can expect the newest iteration to be as well. Especially with the addition of textured hand grips to make it harder for the controller to slip out of your hands. And bad because if you're like me and offset sticks are less accessible, Xbox isn't offering anything that will compensate for this barrier. It's not by any means disappointing, but it is one reason we recommend players test these new controllers themselves before making a purchase. Where the Xbox Series X shines is in the system's exterior. The Series X has been memed as the world's most powerful mini fridge, but the console is closer in weight and size to a large textbook than an appliance. This means it's fairly maneuverable during setup, although you'll need to be able to lift 10 pounds to safely manipulate it. Even more impressive are the tactile indicators next to each port that assist in determining which cable goes where when plugging in everything during setup, ensuring that players who can't see the back of the system have an easier time connecting their HDMI or Ethernet cable. It's really well implemented, and we'd like to see other consoles adapt a version of this feature in the coming years. Similarly, the buttons for power Injecting discs and singing controllers are easily distinguishable by touch, which is a welcome upgrade after the original Xbox One and PS4 launched with buttonless, touch-based power and eject switches. Once we get the Series X connected and powered on, things got back to already highly accessible status quo. There are a few tweaks to the system's user interface, but nothing that majorly impacts accessibility. Xbox has included an impressive suite of baked-in accessibility features, such as the co-pilot mode they pioneered last generation, a menu narrator, a screen magnifier, and a controller input remapping. The only slight disappointment here is that the accessibility suite includes closed captioning, but it's a feature that only works on supported DVDs, Blu-rays, and streaming services. In other words, places that most likely already offer closed captioning. This is a small complaint, especially when compared to Xbox's single biggest selling point, Xbox Game Pass. Now I know that Game Pass is available on more than just a Series X, but the fact that you have access to such a large library of games, as soon as the system is up and running, for such a reasonable fee goes a long way to addressing the biggest barrier most disabled games face, price. Xbox is a clear leader in the subscription service model and Game Pass offers huge value to disabled gamers at a reasonable cost. On the whole, the Xbox Series X is an impressive device. Xbox has made improvements where needed and kept the same winning formula that made the Xbox One the system of preference for many disabled gamers. Although it is not as innovative as its competitors, it's definitely the frontrunner in the area of physical accessibility. 